welcome back to my farm and life this is something like our fourth vlog that we've well, might even be our fifth actually a couple of things firstly i am really starting to love this time of the morning as you can probably hear birds are singing away it's just such a nice crisp morning just got the sun coming up over there and yeah it just um, it just makes us feel even better that we've been given this chance and I'm not back where I was so not experiencing mornings like this the other thing which also helps is you'll see that we've been paid Trevor's transferred us just over £500 for the work we've done over the last week or so. So, we've actually got a bit of cash in our backpacker now, which is never a bad thing. I'm a little bit early. Um, he said he didn't want to see it till 7, but I know he gets up extremely early anyway. That's an absolute state, that, isn't it? We'll have to... Um, Maybe look at getting these things cleaned. Yeah, I know he's up mega early, so we're going to go and give him a knock because there's a couple of things I want to speak to him about anyway. Notably, what is in there? I want to speak to him about that little Kramer tractor. So we'll go and give him a knock and uh, see if we can have a word. That was hard work. No word of a lie, I've just had one of the most difficult conversations I think I've ever had with someone. So I said to him about this Kramer tractor, of which at first he couldn't even remember that was there. And when he finally has remembered, so it sort of went like this. Trevor, what's happening with the Akrima tractor? It doesn't work. But what's wrong with it? Well, it doesn't work. And this is how it went on for a good while. I mean, I've been in there having a coffee and having a couple of slices of toast with them. And I have honestly lost count of how many times it told he told us that the tractor doesn't work. So, he's basically said that it's nothing more to him than scrap. So we've come to an arrangement where, instead of me paying him the money for scrap, he's going to take it off my wage bit by bit. So that essentially, this tractor... Although we haven't exchanged any sort of money now, this tractor's now mine. He's given us the keys for it. And we're going to see if it works or not. Right, so the keys are in. And I'm trying just to, to get the lights on. There's absolutely no power whatsoever. Um... With that, we'll try to start, but obviously, if there's no power to get the lights on, there's going to be no power to turn the engine on, is there? So, I mean, there's a there's movement in the front wheels there, you can see. But, we'll give it a go. And I'm turning absolutely nothing. So, I mean, he was right. It doesn't work. But that doesn't mean that it won't work. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to quickly have a look on my phone. I'm going to see if there's any garages or anything nearby. And, um, I don't know, we're going to have to get it somewhere, aren't we? Because... 
I mean, this will be ideal. It's not, it's going to cost us next to nothing, and yeah, I think it's going to be a great help. So before we actually, oh, I, t I may as well tell you now. I thought we were going to be going up to that Mrs. Entry's um, farm up near Attingham Park, but it turns out we not Trevor wants some of the grass fields cutting. So that's what we're going to be doing today. However, the mower, we're actually waiting to be delivered. So we can't do anything until that is delivered. So I'll have a look on my phone, see what we can get arranged with the garage, and I'll come back to you when we're ready. Right, as you can see, it's just past eight o'clock. A couple of things have happened. I was able to get a hold of a garage. Um, they're quite local. They're called D and G, and they're going to come with their um, with the lorry, and basically, they're going to take the Kramer to their workshop, and they're going to have a look at it. Um, they're pretty confident they can get it running. But even just for them to come pick it up, the charge is £100 just to come and collect it and take it to their garage. So it's going to be a bit of an investment. I mean, I know we've started started getting some, um, some income in, but, uh, yeah, we need to do it, don't we? we can't. I mean, this is a cheap way of getting some wheels, isn't it? That's a, a way we have to look at it. If I was going to buy a car or some other form of transport, it's going to cost us money. So I think we're just going to have to go for it. The reason we over here is um, I need to move that trailer out the way. Because the uh, the lad from D and G, it was actually his name was George, so I assume that's where the G comes from. So what George said is basically they could come any time between now and midday. He said. So this trailer, I've already squared this with Trevor, because this that'll bring us on to the second thing. Just knocking the trailer there. Right, we'll go and get that hooked up. I have no idea where I'm going to put this. I mean, I'm sure this would be loads easier if we just... We should just ask to... Uh, Trevor to use the Land Rover, shouldn't we? I think that would have been a, a better idea. It's not gone too badly, to be honest. I just hope Trevor's not watching from his bedroom window. Just get that unhooked. There we go. Right, the second thing is Trevor was expecting a delivery of a mower set um, which was going to go on the dites and that's what we were going to be, well, I was going to be 
mowing the fields with. That was supposed to be coming between seven and half past this morning. When it got to eight o'clock, he's actually rang the John Deere store. I think it was Roger he spoke to. And basically it's not coming. They've double booked it and it's already gone to another farmer. So he's having to use He's got a really old mown set up here, which is this, and this here, which we've just we've dug out of one of these um, one of these sheds. So that's what we're going to be using. Um, we're going to get it hooked up shortly, and we'll go and start the day's work right so the fields that we're going to be cutting are just through this cow pasture here Trevor said there it is I was going to say Trevor said there was a gate before you get to the sheep farm so this is it here Just close it behind us so they can't get into this field. Excellent. It's really difficult. Right, I assume. I was just about to say it's really difficult to see if it's working or not, but I assume by that noise that it is. And the same with that noise there. There's actually a couple of fields that we need to do. There's all of this one here that you can see, and then there's a one just around where the sheep pasture is. Trevor did say he didn't expect that we would get all of them done today, but we'll just have to see how we can get on. I mean, I think just by the noise you can tell how old this setup is. It's making an absolute racket. It's working though. I have no idea what more Trevor was expecting today. I assume something a lot more modern, seeing as um, it was coming direct from the store. But, I mean, he was he was pretty upset about it, to be honest. I have no idea where that track leads to. I'm 
can just write uh, along the riverbank here. I didn't realise when we came into this field. I didn't think that's where it was. Keep an eye out just so I don't get too close to the edge. I think we'll go once round and then to save a bit of battery life because I think today's going to be quite a long day I'll switch off for a bit and then I'll come back when we a little bit closer to the end but we'll get once round first So we're just coming back to the start now. You can see there's the the sheep pasture just there. Right, we'll get switched off and we'll come back shortly. Just had a phone call from George from D and G. He said he's uh, at the garage now. I'll just um, jump up to show you what we've done. As you can see, it's quarter past eleven. We've been going on for quite a while. So I mean, that's everything we've done there, and we've still got this bit to do. So it was, it was a massive job, to be honest. Um, what should we do? Shall we... We'll walk over and we'll just leave the tractor there. Right. I'll switch back on when we back over there. Well, that took a little bit longer than expected. There was only me and George. And we managed... Because we didn't... Basically, with them having the truck pulled up there... We couldn't get a tractor in to move these IBCs, so, I mean, you can see here where we've literally had to drag it, we've had to drag the tractor around and then get pulled up onto, onto the back there. Um, I mean, there was no issue once, the wheels haven't turned for quite a while, but once they got going they were fine. Um, I don't know if this is a bit sort of something that's leaked from it as well but anyway yeah 
it was these IBCs. This one in particular, we just had to get, had to push out the way. Um, so yeah, it took us a little bit longer. It's took us nearly an hour, hasn't it, to get it on there? Unfortunately, that isn't the sound of the Kramer's engine. That's the sound of the truck's engine. So yeah, he's just he's just about done. He's just finished strapping it on, and he's going to be getting going. As you can see, we've paid him. It was £100 that he wanted to collect it and it's going to be getting took back to his garage to well, see if he can get it running basically, which hopefully he can. You'll see, we're past one o'clock now. We're um, while I was over speaking with George, once he'd gone, we just ended up having our dinner and we stayed over at Trevor's for um, well, a good 40 minutes or so. So I've just got this to finish today. Um, I'm not sure what, he, what else he wants us to do. I mean, it's still going to take us another couple of hours to get this done. Realise I'd missed a bit over here. So yeah, I'm just hoping that they're going to be able to get the Kramer up and running again. Ah, the other thing that I haven't spoke about as well, and I haven't spoke about because I haven't got an answer to it at the minute, tonight is my last night at the B&B, or it's certainly my last night at the B&B where Trevor's footed the bill. So what I'm going to do after that, I'm not 100% sure. As it stands, I'm either going to have to start paying the rates myself, although they're not technically a B&B &B anymore. I know that they would be open to allowing us to stay there for a little bit. Or I'm going to have to find somewhere else. It's not even like... I've got a vehicle to stop in. Even if I get the green rubber and it's not like I can sleep in that, is it? So I don't know what we're going to do with that. I haven't spoke to Trevor about it either. Um, and he hasn't mentioned it to me whether he's realised. As you can see, we've ended up working a lot later than um, what we perhaps expected to. I mean, we've got a lot done, and my apologies, there's some things I haven't shown simply because I forgot to put the uh, the camera back on and start recording. I was just that sort of wrapped up in what we had to do. So we got this field cut, we got it all cut, and we actually got, there's a field just over there that you can't see, it's only quite small. But we got that cut as well. And then this field here, 
we've then got road so with this um, Fent wind row here it's the first time I've used one as big as that I mean most of um, most of Trevor's kit is quite old to be honest but um, he's obviously invested some money in that so I mean you can't really see just with it being dark but I mean this is the result I think you've seen probably wind rows before we'll get this open we'll get through here I mean we're pretty much done um, well I think we're done I'll just uh, go and close this gate say we think I hope we're done because I'm absolutely shattered brilliant I'll just go steady along here because we've seen what the cows are like like this It is actually that corner I need to aim for. There's just the track disappears, that's all. There it is. Pick it back up there. And up the cattle grid. Oh, while well, we've been gone as well, I'll come back and I'll show you. I'll just park this up. Well, there's the end result of some of it. I'll park that up shortly. So, as you can see, this is now got a decent amount of silage in. I haven't done this. The um, one or two of the twins, I don't know who's done it, have cleared this silo out. That is all in preparation for the field that we've cut and rode. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Should we jump over? We'll jump over, go through here. I might be able to show you a bit better. I'll just quickly run over. There it is there. Uh. Yep, I can just purchase up on there. So that's the field that we've been working in. Let's get back over. So yeah, that's been cleared out. I believe some was taken down to um, Farmer Brown's farm. Um, probably the under under the direction of Dan, obviously. But yeah, I think that was the case. Um, so we're going to leave it here for today. I mean, it's nearly quite past eight. And I need to go back to the B&B, hopefully. Um, last night there we'll have to figure out from tomorrow what we're going to do um, and also what's going to happen with our Kramer our tractor hoping for a phone call in the next few days over that so thank you very much for joining us for uh, this vlog and I'll see you again soon